Hello everyone, we're at chapter 58, The Conversations. Thanks to Raza's truce, life inside the nest was mostly harmonious. But when the animals went outside, it was business as usual. Sometimes a lodger wouldn't return. Sometimes a lodger would return in the belly of another lodger. As you can imagine, that made for some awkward moments. So when everyone was gathered around the fire, they tried to keep things pleasant by having conversations like these. I wonder what Brightville is doing right now. Chit Chat lay on her back and looked at the ceiling as she spoke. And where he is and who he's with and if he ever thinks about us back here on the island. I am sure he thinks about us, said Roz. I think about him all the time. I like to imagine that the geese had a fun flight to the wintering grounds, and now Brightville is floating on a lovely lake eating yummy food and making wonderful new friends. But hopefully they're not too wonderful, because I'd like to stay his best friend if possible. That is a nice thought, said Roz. But I worry that the flock might have gotten caught in this icy weather. I do not think they would have handled it well. Don't worry, I'm sure they're fine, said Chit Chat. Brightville is such a great flyer that I just know he'll keep the flock out of trouble. He is a great flyer, said Roz, but I still worry. Life is short. Dig down the old groundhog was giving another one of her fireside speeches. I'll be lucky if I see the spring. I don't want your pity. I've had a good run. But I'll tell you what, if I could do it all over again, I'd spend more time helping others. All I've ever done is dig tunnels. Some of them were real beauties, too. But they're all hidden underground, where they're no good to anyone but me. And they weren't even good to me this winter. Now, the beavers, they have it all figured out. They built that beautiful dam, which created a lovely pond that made all our lives better. That must feel mighty good. The beavers made our lives better in another way, said Fink. They taught Roz how to build. Ain't that the truth, said Dig Down. Roz, you must have saved half the island with your lodges. And to think we used to call you a monster. I'll repay my debt to you if it's the last thing I do. Your friendship is payment enough, said Roz. Oh, please, your sweetness is going to make me sick. There must be something we can do. Your friendship really is enough. Friends help each other. And I will need all the help I can get. My mind is strong. But my body will not last forever. I want to survive as long as possible. And to do that, I will need the help of my friends. The animals listened quietly to Roz and thought of their own struggles to survive. Life in the wilderness was hard for everyone. There was no escaping that fact. But the robot had made their lives a little easier. And if they ever could, the animals would return the favor. I have seen 93 winters. Far more than any of you, Craig the turtle spoke slowly, but everyone always listened to his words. And I can tell you that the winters have gotten colder, and the summers have gotten hotter, and the storms have gotten fiercer. I heard that the ocean has gotten bigger, said Chit Chat, but I don't see how that could be true. I mean, where would all the extra water come from? You are right, the ocean is higher, said Craig. My grandfather used to say that, long ago, this island was not an island at all. It was a mountain, surrounded by flat lands. And then the ground shook, and the oceans grew, and the land slowly flooded until the mountain became this island. Animals from far and wide were forced to come here to escape the floodwaters. In those early days, there were too many animals living in too small a place. The island did not have enough food to feed them all, but between fighting and disease and famine, a balance was finally reached, and we have kept that balance ever since. Chit Chat's eyes grew wide with concern. If the ocean keeps rising, the island will be swallowed up by the waves, and I don't even know how to swim. If the waves ever do swallow this island, it will not happen for a very long time, said Crag. By then, we will all be long dead, even me. Everything has a purpose. It was Swooper's turn to lecture the lodgers. The sun is meant to give light. Plants are meant to grow. We owls are meant to hunt. 
We mice are meant to hide. We raccoons are meant to scavenge. Roz, what are you meant to do? I do not believe I have a purpose. I respectfully disagree, said Swooper. Clearly, you are meant to build. I think Roz is meant to grow gardens. Roz is definitely meant to take care of Brightbill. Perhaps I am simply meant to help others.